SDCC 2022 reveals are finally here and it looks like we're getting some pretty killer stuff. Let's break down all of the pictures that Funko gave us for days one and two. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have a very exciting video for you guys today as we're going to be breaking down all of the reveals that Funko gave us for days one and two of San Diego Comic-Con 2022. And first off, right off the bat, I am super excited just because San Diego Comic-Con is going to be happening in person this year for the first time in a few years now. So very exciting for that. And Funko has even dubbed their section of San Diego Comic-Con as Funkoville. And you guys will be seeing that logo quite a bit. And they even have their own t-shirt that they're going to be releasing with the Funkoville logo on it. So without further ado, let's jump into these reveals. So the first reveal that we actually got from Funko was actually not one, but two pops. And it happens to be their mascot for San Diego Comic-Con, the Toucan. And we're actually getting two more Toucans. They've been doing this for a few years now. Um, I believe last year we got the Toucan Astronauts and a whole bunch of other ones. But this year we're actually getting the Toucan as a pirate and Toucan as a rock star um, and he's got the guitar and he's actually stepping on that block which actually has the official San Diego Comic-Con logo on it. The pirate has the San Diego Comic-Con logo on his hat. Um, these particularly are not pops that we're going to be going after. They are part of the Ad Icons line. So if you guys are Ad Icons fans or just fans of the Toucan in general from San Diego Comic-Con, then I guess you'll have to pick these up. The next pop that we have here is Jeremy Jam from Parks and Recreation. I love Parks and Recreation, one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, it is pretty cool to see that we're getting another obscure side character from the show in pop form. Um, he does have a little bit of a dynamic pose. He's got his signature a um, little bit of an afro hairstyle, and he's also pointing, which is pretty funny. That pretty much well represents his character from the show. Even though I'm a big Parks and Rec fan and a collector of that line, I don't think I'll be grabbing this one for my collection just because I wasn't really a fan of his character from the show. Nonetheless, cool pop. All right, next pop we're getting here is Digital Stan from South Park. And this one is actually going to glow in the dark. And uh, I don't know anything about South Park. I know it's a very popular show. And um, overall, the pop looks pretty good. The glow looks awesome. So I'll be curious to see if the glow from the glam shot is, uh, you know, matches what we get in person with the actual pop. The next pop, once again, from the TV line, we're getting Hugsy from Friends. And uh, I recently started getting into Friends for the first time, starting to watch more and more episodes. Um, Joanna's older sister, Rita, is actually a massive Friends fanatic, and she has all of the pops. So this pop is going to be a must-have for us because we have to keep her collection complete. So pretty cute. The next pop from the DC line is Peacemaker. This was John Cena's character from the DC Universe. We saw him in the suit, the newer Suicide Squad movie, and then he had his own spin-off TV series of Peacemaker. We've already gotten a few Peacemaker pops. Um, this one is just another variant. He is making the peace sign with his hand there. Um, overall, it's pretty cool. Not my favorite or not one that I'm going to need to have for my DC collection, but still a great one if you're a Peacemaker fan. The next one we have here is a Jumbo 6-inch pop, and this is Young He Doll from Squid Game. I never saw Squid Game. Very popular though, and I have talked to a bunch of people already who are very excited for this pop, so I could see this one having a good bit of value just because it is a six inch pop. They don't do a lot of oversized pops for San Diego Comic-Con and New York Comic-Con for that matter. So I have a feeling this is gonna be holding a little bit of value down the road. The next pop we have here is from Ted Lasso, the TV show with Jason Sudeikis. Um, and this is the main character, Ted Lasso. Um, once again, I have not seen this show. I love Jason Sudeikis though. He is hilarious. Um, he is in a lot of great movies. Um, of course, he's from SNL, which is awesome. Um, Pretty standard looking pop. I mean, not really much going on. He's got his hands in his pockets. So if you're a fan of the show, then 
for this. This is probably a pickup that you need to get, but definitely one that I'm going to be passing on. The next reveal that we have is from Stranger Things. Now, I know Joanna binged watched the uh, first half of season four that they put out for everybody, and I've heard a lot of positive feedback from people who saw the show, and we're getting another Demogorgon. We recently got the Blacklight Wave of Stranger Things pops, and it didn't seem like there was a lot of hype for that, but now that season four, or at least a majority of season four, has been released, um, there could be some hype for this pop. So this one, like I said, it's the same standard mold of the Demogorgon that we've gotten in the past, although now it glows in the dark. So, I mean, that is pretty cool. I'll be curious to see what the glow looks like in person. And we're also getting a Demogorgon lounge fly bag. So I don't know if that's going to be a bag that Joanna needs for her collection, but nonetheless, still pretty cool. And then we have a few more reveals for day one here. The next reveal we have is from Disney, and this is Bambi with the butterfly on the tail there and this one's super cute i think a lot of disney collectors are going to be going after this um i could definitely see this one being pretty popular on the drop and then you know in the months ahead going up in value a little bit just because bambi is a classic disney film classic character people recognize you know disney and bambi so i have a feeling that this one's going to be pretty popular specifically because it's a pretty unique mold too with him you know turned around and everything so the next pop right here, guys, this is going to be, I'm calling it Instant Grail right here. So this is the first appearance of Supersonic, and it's going to glow in the dark. There's so much Sonic hype right now. We are going to be getting a third Sonic movie probably in 2024, if I had to guess. Um, we just got the sequel here in 2022. And uh, a lot of the Sonic Pops have been trending upward in value. And there is another Super Sonic Pop. And uh, we recently featured it on our Pops on the Rise video that we did last week. This is the GameStop exclusive Super Sonic. And um, this one has been going up quite a bit. And I think because of that, now we're getting the first appearance glow one. I think collectors like ourselves are going to have to have this. I mean, I'm we are definitely going to need this for our collection and the glow like i said if the glow is as good in real life as it's depicted here in the glam shot we're definitely going to have to have this so good job funko this pretty killer lineup so far and then like i mentioned in the beginning of the video we are getting a brand new t-shirt this is the funkoville t-shirt and uh, i'll be curious to see if this is in exclusive t-shirt only to the con or if they will be selling it at HQ or Hollywood because I would definitely like to get my hands on one of these t-shirts. Um, it just overall looks pretty cool and Funko has been doing a lot of t-shirts in the last few years but when they release specific ones to specific events it gets me excited. I kind of want it so hopefully I can make friends with somebody or know somebody who can help me get one because I, I would really love to have that. So now we're going to move moving into day number two for our San Diego Comic-Con 2022 reveals and guys we get to kick it off with the sodas and we got some really good sodas we have to talk about here. So the first one being I mean when I woke up this morning I mean the first soda they revealed got a lot of people talking and it deserves a lot of hype and a lot of recognition because this is only the second time that Funko has done this. We are getting a soda with not one, but two chases and Funko definitely needs to keep this up. And if they can keep doing this where they make a soda have two chases for a con soda, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is serious hype right here. So right here we have Otto. And um, this is from the Fantastic Plastic line. They did make some auto pops a few years back. I believe there was a few of them that were exclusive to 2016 San Diego Comic-Con. So now here we are six years later and we're getting an auto soda with two chases. So the brown shirt is going to be the common. And then there's going to be a purple shirt version as well as a yellow shirt version. And those are gonna, both going to be the chases. Now from the glam shot here, it says it's going to be 7,500 pieces. So that should spit out a, you know, 1,250 piece chase. Now, when you break that in half, that means each chase is only going to be 625 pieces, if my math is correct. So 
Gonna be tough to get both those chases, so I'm very excited for this. Hopefully we can get some of these on the drop because I would love to bust some of these open here on the channel and just hopefully try our luck at getting those two chases. The other soda where they did this with the double chase, if you guys remember, was the Donald Duck, and we got lucky enough to pull both those chases, so hopefully we can do it with Otto. The next soda that we have here... Now, the theme of San Diego Comic-Con 2022 Fun Days has already been revealed. It's going to be a Blacklight theme, and they are kicking off the Blacklight exclusives here with the Huckleberry Hound Soda. Now, I'm excited for this one. This, this looks pretty awesome just because you can clearly the, distinguish the common from the chase. And if Funko can keep doing that with their Blacklight collectibles i i think that just makes it even more exciting because then you know for sure when you have the chase so we have the huckleberry hound here same exact mold as the first two huckleberry hound sodas that they did way back in 2020 so now we have another 5,000 piece they're keeping it really low run for the huckleberry hounds and we have the regular blue black light as the common and then this awesome pink variant as the chase once again guys 5,000 pieces that means it's only going to spin out an 800 piece chase so that chase is going to be pretty limited so if you guys are trying to get this one on the drop you're going to have to be quick and i know we're going to be trying to get this one as well the next soda that we have here from the very popular Lord of the Rings line, we have Bilbo Baggins. Now, if you guys saw recently, we were lucky enough to open up some of the uh, Frodo sodas right here on the channel. So I have a feeling a lot of people are going to want to get Bilbo to go with their Frodo sodas. Now, looking at the soda here, the Glam Shot is telling us that it's going to be a 10,000 piece soda um with the chase as you know he's screaming here he doesn't have his his walking stick so pretty cool chase um different mold there which i definitely like they switched out the uh the face obviously and the uh both arms i was gonna say the right arm but both arms are different so great job funko on this one continuing the lord of the rings hype with the sodas so moving into the next soda reveal, we actually have a really cool one. It's not going to be something that I'm particularly going to be grabbing for our soda collection, but the mold on this one is super cool. So this is Hatsune Miku. It's going to be 7,500 pieces. We actually got one of her pops recently, and I had to go run over and look at it because she's actually from the Rocks line, although I just did a little bit of research on her, and she is from an anime show. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comment section below is she technically a singer from the rocks line or is she part of the anime line so on sodas unlike pops you know they don't actually put which line they are from um, so like i said this is gonna be 7500 pieces and i actually had to go over to ppg to get the glam shot for what the chase is gonna look like it's gonna be a diamond glitter chase um, funko did not actually give us a glam shot of the chase on their instagram page here but from the picture that was posted on ppg this chase looks awesome so 7500 pieces that's going to spit out a 1250 piece diamond glitter chase which i think is going to be awesome so i'll be curious to see if this soda gets in some more anime collectors or rock collectors into the soda game because I can definitely appreciate the really cool mold on this soda with her hair basically going down to the floor and then curling back up. So pretty cool and a very good job by Funko to continue keeping the piece counts down on some of these brand new con sodas. So now moving into the next soda, this is without a doubt the one that I am most excited about here for San Diego Comic-Con 2022. It is from the Marvel line. It's gonna be 15,000 pieces, so they are throwing that low piece count out the window as they are expecting a lot of Marvel fans and collectors to try to go after this one. And this is Star-Lord, specifically from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And both of the very of this soda look fantastic. The common has him with his guns and his signature Star-Lord mask and then the chase is a completely different head mold and arms and it actually has him with his headphones and his Walkman and if you guys saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and Volume 2, you will know that the music for both movies was pretty significant. Um, they did a great job with the score for both those films. And Peter Quill loves having his awesome 
volume mixtape. So I think Funko did a great job on this soda. And even though it's a little bit higher in terms of piece count, I mean, that doesn't throw me off at all. I'm very excited to get this one and I'm really hoping that we can pull the chase because this is a must have for our collection. And now we'll be able to have Star-Lord go with our Groot as well as Rocket. So I'll be curious, when are we gonna get Gamora and Drax? So hopefully we get those. Maybe we get one for New York Comic Con and maybe we get Gamora for Emerald City Comic Con because she's green. That would make a lot of sense. So now moving into the next soda, this is from the DC Universe. And unlike Star-Lord, uh, this is a character that I am not familiar with. So this is Lar Fleas. And like I said, I've never heard of this character. However, the soda looks very, very cool. We have a very interesting mold and the chase is gonna be glow in the dark. Once again, we are going back to a very low piece count with this soda, only gonna be 5,000 pieces. So I'm not sure, I'm kind of undecided on this one if this is gonna be a must have for my DC collection or not, we'll see. All right, now moving back into pops. Funko wasn't just doing sodas for day two. They also gave us some great pops to look forward to, continuing with the DC theme. So the next pop that we have to look at is Starfire, specifically Starfire from the Justice League, which is something that we've never really gotten before. We've gotten Starfire from the Teen Titans, and um, I was kind of hoping we were get, gonna get Starfire or one of the members of the actual Titan show, but this is gonna be Starfire from the Justice League line, and I think the mold on this is awesome. She's got her signature glow right around her hands. There's a nice little fire uh, display right at the bottom of her feet, and she's got awesome pink hair and her green eyes. So overall, I'm very excited about this pop, and this is gonna be one that I definitely have to have for our collection. Continuing with the DC theme, the next pop we have is actually another deluxe pop. So Funko is really killing it with giving us different sizes for pops for San Diego Comic-Con 2022. And right here we have from Batman Returns, the Michael Keaton sequel, we have the penguin in his duck mobile here, the duck ride. So this is pretty cool. Um, I think we're undecided if we're gonna get this one for our collection at the moment. Um, I'll be curious to see exactly how big it is. It says deluxe, so instead of ride, usually when it's a ride, it's in a bigger box but it says deluxe so it should be in that um, that six by six square box it's a little bit bigger than your typical four inch pop um, I have a feeling this will look really good out of box so I definitely want to see how this translates in person and that'll probably be the deciding factor before we grab it now moving into the next pop here we have a character from Demon Slayer so now we're gonna drift into some anime characters and like I said before, I'm not a huge anime guy, but we definitely got to talk about them because they were still revealed. And I know a lot of people are excited about them. Just to show you guys how excited some people are for some of these pops, over 22,000 people liked this picture for this specific pop that we're talking about. 22,000 people. That's a lot of collectors. And there's no way they're going to be dropping 22,000 of this pop for the con. Usually con pops go from anywhere from eight to 12,000 from what I know from previous years. Although they could be upping it, who knows. But from Demon Slayer here, we have Enmu. And now that I think about it, Joanna's younger sister, Isabel, which some of you guys may know, she likes Demon Slayer. So this might be one that we need. Um, looking at the pop, pretty cool. I mean, uh, this character has some pink in their hair, which is pretty cool. I don't know anything about the pop, but like I said, 22,000 people like this photo. So a lot of people are excited for this one. Now the next pop we have here is from another anime, Boruto, and this is Super Cho Cho in butterfly mode. So Funko does a great job on anime pops. Like I said, I don't know much about them, but some of these molds are killer and the details are awesome. I mean, this character in particular has her hair coming all the way over half of her face, so you can't see one of her eyes. And of course, she's got her butterfly wings there. So nonetheless, pretty cool pop. 
The next pop we have here is from My Hero Academia, and this is Gran Torino. Now, My Hero Academia exclusives are no strangers to major cons like San Diego Comic Con. I mean, in recent years, we've gotten Fat Gum and stuff like that off the top of my head. So I have a feeling this will be popular just because of how popular My Hero Academia is. And this one's pretty cool. It looks kind of like a superhero here in a very dynamic pose. Um, mold looks great. He's got a cool looking mask on and he's yellow and white um, superhero looking outfit so pretty cool the next pop we have is from yet another very popular anime series and this is of course Dragon Ball Z and this is Goku we've gotten so many Goku's I mean we've come across easily dozens of them but this is Goku in driving school and Goku here has his eyes closed and he's holding a steering wheel so um, pretty cool pop um, I think there's a lot of Goku's so Maybe we need more. Um, I'm not too sure. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments section below if any of these pops are on your radar. The next pop we have here is from yet another very popular show, Attack on Titan. I think I've heard so many people asking if they can get Attack on Titan pops from us and from other people in the community. So I know Attack on Titan is very hot right now. And right here we have Queen Historias. So I've never seen Attack on Titan. I couldn't tell you anything about this character, but the pop looks pretty cool. Got a very interesting crown with the uh, the gems there in the side. So I have a feeling just because Attack on Titan is once again pretty popular right now, a lot of people are probably going after this pop. All right, so the next pop we have right here is another anime pop. So a lot of anime pops here for San Diego Comic-Con 2022, which I know a lot of people are, are excited about, which is great. And right here we have from Junjitsu Kaisen, we have Yuji Itadori with Slaughter. Um, pretty interesting looking pop right here. He's got a huge knife in his hand, and uh, he's got some... Got some stuff going on under there, under his eyes there. So he looks like he means business in a very dynamic pose. Um, I don't know anything about this character, but I would definitely want to keep my distance with that giant dagger that he has. And continuing with some more anime reveals, we have not a pop, but an actual skateboard, which is pretty cool. Funko has done a few of these now. I don't have any of them in my collection, but we actually have a My Hero Academia skateboard deck. So this is pretty cool. It's not an actual skateboard. It's meant for display purposes and people can collect them obviously, but um, it's it's pretty cool. It's got Deku on the cover of it and uh, got some pretty cool lightning throughout the board. So yeah, definitely pretty cool. And I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna be wanting to get this. So. Now moving into my personal bread and butter, we have our Star Wars reveals. Now, even if it, this is all we get for Star Wars, this is plenty because I had to stop what I was doing earlier and just get a full glimpse of what they revealed because this is truly awesome and this is worthy of being a con exclusive my only beef with funko is that they revealed all the star wars pops in one post like we couldn't get separate posts for the star wars pops that's okay nonetheless the first pop that we have here is black chrysanthemum from the book of boba fett finally black chrysanthemum getting his very own Funko Pop, and yes, it will be flocked. I am so excited for this pop. If you guys haven't seen the Book of Boba Fett, then you probably are not familiar with this character yet, so definitely go check him out. He is a big, huge Wookiee bounty hunter. He does have some connection to Obi-Wan Kenobi, so I'm wondering if in the show here, with the last few episodes remaining, if they're going to make any tie-in to him, or could we see him in uh, Season 2 of Obi-Wan Kenobi? I hope that we see him in a possible Season 2 of The Book of Boba Fett, or maybe in The Mandalorian, because he is a great character, and I thoroughly enjoyed seeing him in The Book of Boba Fett, and I'm so excited that we are finally getting his first pop here in 2022. The next pop that we have here is Andor, specifically Cassian Andor. And if you guys haven't heard, Andor is actually getting his very own Disney Plus series, which is going to be coming out in August. Now, we do already have some Cassian Andor pops from the Rogue One line, um, but we are getting a new pop here in 2022. 
pretty standard looking pop. I mean, he's just standing there with his hands on his belt. So nothing crazy going on. He's got a full beard and everything um, representing the character pretty well. I am very excited for the series. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be, you know, highlighting the birth and, uh, you know, the beginning of the rebellion. It's going to be a prequel to Rogue One, of course, and uh, I'm very excited for this show. And there's already going to be two seasons. There is going to be two seasons, not one, of Andor, and I'm very excited for that. The next and last Star Wars reveal that we got, oh, I love it when they give us troopers for the major cons here, guys. We have the Purge Trooper. And yes, some of you guys may be wondering, haven't we already gotten a Purge Trooper from the Star Wars line? Yes, we did. A few years back, we did get the Purge Trooper from the Jedi Fallen Order game, but this is specifically the Purge Trooper that is from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. If you guys haven't seen the show yet, um, it's not really a spoiler or anything. There are a couple Purge Troopers in the background, but we pretty much knew that there was going to be a presence of Purge Troopers in the show just because the Purge Troopers do accompany the Inquisitors as they went around trying to exter ex you know, exterminate all of the Jedi. So this pop looks awesome. The red eyes and the helmet look fantastic. I love just the color scheme, the weapon. I mean, all the troopers have a pretty static pose where they're just standing there. Um, some of them are in some of an, somewhat of an action pose where they're getting ready to shoot, but um, this is a must have for me. I mean, all three of these Star Wars pops, Black Chrysanthemum, um, and or as well as the Purge Trooper are all must haves for me. So very excited. Funko is giving us some great stuff here in 2022 for San Diego Comic-Con. So let me know down in the comment section below, guys. What do you think of these reveals so far for days one and days two? Um, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, right here on our channel, we're going to be breaking down all of the reveals and talking about them, of course, for Pop Force One. If you guys have never been to one of the Pop Force One live streams before, it is myself. Professor Josh, the, uh, the Poppin' Duo, and Rock and Row. All four of us make up the Pop Force One team, and we rotate every single Thursday night between our four channels, and we just talk about all the latest Funko news, everything going on in the community, and occasionally we bust open some sodas and some mystery boxes. So if you guys aren't doing anything tonight, definitely come on out. It's a great time. You get to hang out with a lot of other people here in the community, and uh, we always have a blast. So that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. I think overall, just compared to last year, we're getting some great stuff. So great job, Funko. I'm very excited, and I think it's going to be a great San Diego Comic-Con. So with that being said, guys, we hope to see you tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. And as always, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all very soon.